Greetings, Angus Woodhead here from Glasshouse Studios. Uh, today I'm going to cover importing drum data, drum audio, into your Pro Tools session. Uh, so let's assume that you've sent uh, a file away to get drums recorded to and uh, they've sent back multiple takes. So in this instance we're going to use two takes. And uh, so there's, there's probably 13 or 14 tracks, you know, kick, snare, toms, everything all itemized separate tracks. And what we want to do is we want to import them into the session, uh, but we're going to set it up using um, playlists so that we can flick between the two takes and pick the best take for each section of the song. Uh, so there's a, there's a sneaky way to do this that just makes it all very easy. Uh, so let's hop into Pro Tools now and, uh, and see how to do that. All right, so here we go. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to prepare the audio. So what we do is we go to our we go to our Dropbox. Uh, so here's our Dropbox folder in our Finder. Uh, in this situation, uh, Phil G has sent me drums, and the song we're working on is "Thinking of Me." So we've got two different takes. He's called them take two and take three, and then each one of those takes. Uh, is the multiple file so you've got hats kick overhead hats etc now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to name I'm going to put a number on the front of them this is a very important stage to make sure everything lines up easily in Pro Tools so I'm going to go through and just change the name of each file uh, so let's start with kick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put zero zero dash on the front of that it's important to always put zero zero first um, don't just put zero, 01 and you've always got to put the two zeros because the way the Mac file system works it's important to do that uh, so let's go snare top two uh, so 01 snare bottom 02 so we just etc go through and uh, I'm just going to fast forward now to where we've named them all okay so here we are what I've done is I've named both takes, so we've got 0, 0 through to 12, and it's important to make sure, let's just zoom in here and have a look, they're labelled exactly the same. So there's drum take 2, if we go to drum take 3, uh, for example, overhead hats is number 9, in both takes, overhead hats is number 9, that's very important. All right, so we've prepped our audio. So now we're going to import those two files. So I can quit out of that. Uh, so now we go to our session. I'm going to head down the bottom and I select the last track because I want to import the drums from there. Uh, so let's just zoom in. So we go up here to File, Import Audio, File, Import Audio. Then we just navigate to our folder. The first folder I'm going to bring in take two first. Select all the tracks. Uh, now this is very important in Pro Tools. It's important. There's the audio files down there. Now because he tracked that the resolution I'm working at, which is 2448, uh, the files don't need any conversion or anything. Uh, but we need to make sure we copy them and don't add them. The files are in Dropbox uh, and I delete my Dropbox regularly. Um, so we want to copy the data to our audio folder in Pro Tools. Uh, so they're both at 48, so that's all good. Hit done. And then it's going to ask me where to put that. So I want to make sure I want to make sure we're in the correct audio folder. So there's audio files in the name of our song, Thinking of Me. I want all the audio for the whole song in that folder. Pro Tools automatically does that anyway. Uh, so then we go open. It's importing, uh, so it'll import, drop it all in the folder. Now we want to make sure we go new track, session start, uh, because, yeah, we drop all the audio in at the beginning because that's the file that I sent him was exported from the beginning and he recorded to that. Uh, so then we go OK. All the audio comes in. There it is. There's all our audio. OK, so there, there's the drum take. Um, and it won't sound great yet, obviously, because it's all raw material and hasn't been mixed. Um, but there it is. And notice it's all in order, the way we numbered it. Uh, let's just go over here. So you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, blah, 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 all the way down. So that's great. 
Now what we want to do is we want to group that together and Apple G makes a group or Command G and we're going to call this group drums. Uh, now whatever you have highlighted will become the drums. So that group is now the drums and what I can actually do, I can scroll to my little playlist, uh, my little playlist arrow there, see that there? I can click that little arrow and I can hit new and it will all the drums are now a new playlist so I can flick backwards and forwards between those playlists so I can go back there's my first take and here's a blank take ready for the next lot of drums which I'm about to import now what I want to do is I want to open over here bottom right if you have a look over in the bottom right there we open this which shows our uh, clips so they're all our audio clips. Now if I scroll back over here, bring up the playlist and I select, see it selected all the drums, there they are all there. They're the drums, they're the ones we brought in. Now I'm just going to minimize the audio a little bit here using this minus arrow because I just want to be able to open this up and make that nice and easy to see what we're doing. All right, so we go to the new playlist that we've created now we import again so we go file import audio we're going to bring in the second drum take uh, navigate to the second take there it is grab all the audio do the same thing copy all it's at 48 so we don't need to change the sample rate hit on done now very important stage uh, bring it into the audio folder again it's importing now this is a very important stage this time what we want to do is go into clip list. So we're not going to create a new track because we want to copy the audio onto the same track. So we go clip list, hit OK. Now over here you can see the audio is there and it's highlighted because it's just been imported but it's not in the session yet. Now what we do, see how they're numbered in order and you can see the, uh, the kicks, the two different takes, each number the way we've named them. Now what we do is we click on the first one, the kick, double O kick, and drag the whole lot over right to the beginning of the session, release, and now we can close that. We now have our option A means we can see all the audio. So there is take two. And then if we select our playlist here, we can go, there is take one. So we've got take one drums, take two drums there. They're both together, they're lined up at zero and ready to now comp between the two takes. And I can listen and I can put processing on the tracks and I can do whatever sort of processing I want, stick some plugins on or whatever. Um, and um, then we can just go backwards and forwards using playlist to hear which audio track we prefer to use. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something from that. Uh, importing drum tracks. We can use it for anything, of course, guitar takes or anything like that. But generally drums is the one I always do it with because there's lots of tracks. Uh, importing drum tracks into a session so you have multiple playlists and you can go between the playlists to decide which drum take you'd like to use. Thanks very much.